Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Today I'm going to show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat data from an iPhone to an Android. But please, watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the important tips that I'm going to give you. I noticed that there's a lot of searches of how to move all your WhatsApp chat data from an iPhone to an Android. And I think this is because of the new Android devices out there. The Google Pixel Fold, the Samsung Galaxy Flip, the Galaxy Fold. What I always recommend first is to update both devices, okay? This is the OnePlus Nord north and 35g and here this is an iphone 7 so as you can see my iphone is already fully updated i have to check that on my oneplus your system is up to date android version 13 okay so i'm up to date on both devices now i want you to make sure that you have the latest version of whatsapp on your iphone how can you check that you can go to the apple store and you can search for what's up and if you see open that means that you have the latest version if you have a button saying update you need to update right but right now i have the latest version now that i have that i'm also want to do a backup so go to settings go to chats chat backup backup now my backup it's only 58 megabytes also guys before doing this try to delete all the stuff that you don't need on your whatsapp all your videos tiktoks that you have on your groups try to delete all that so i have my backup I'm good, okay? Now, in order to do this, we should factory reset the Android device. So you're gonna open settings, and from here, you're gonna look into additional settings, and scroll down, backup and reset, reset phone. And you're gonna select erase all data, reset to factory settings, erase data. Of course, you're gonna do a backup before that because you're gonna delete everything, guys. And looks like it's done, guys. We're gonna configure the phone really quick. Everything that is optional, don't click. Connect to a mobile network. I'm going to click next. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. I think I'm connecting now. I'm connected. Let's click next. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. And this is what we're looking for, guys. It's called copy and data. Okay. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts, and more. This will work if you have an Android 12 and up. And if you have a Samsung device, you're going to use a smart switch, which is similar, but not the same. All right. Click next. It says you will need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. This is my old device is on and unlock. I'm going to click next. Now it says find your old device cable. So we're going to need a cable that is going to go from lighting to USB-C. For some reason you don't have that cable, I'm going to put a link on the description where you can buy the cable for $9 at Amazon. So this is the cable guys, lighting to USB-C. So we're going to connect the source, which is the old phone, the iPhone 7, and we're going to connect the new phone with the USB-C right there. And it says find your old device cable next insert cable into your old device and i already did that and immediately guys you see trust this computer you're going to click trust remember android 12 and up trust okay now devices are connected you're going to click next the program is going to check all the apps all the info on the iphone and it's going to see if it can transfer but before that it's going to ask you to sign in to your google account okay so let me sign in with my google account okay it says getting ready to copy always try to have both devices charge 100 percent because this might take a while you know it says choose what to copy nine apps the contact photos messages attachments calendars notes this is all the stuff you can transfer i'm gonna click on apps and i'm gonna deselect all the apps that i don't need or that i can install later because the most important app for this video is what's up so your apps are just going to select one app, which is WhatsApp. And then I'm going to click contacts, of course, photos too. That's fine. Messages. All the rest is fine because it's not heavy, you know. But the most important one is this, WhatsApp. Then click copy. And look at this, guys. Transfer WhatsApp chats. Scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp. Then tap start. You know, the devices are still connected. Do not disconnect them. Okay. Uh, click camera. Go on top. Okay, and here at the top, click on that link, open WhatsApp, open, and this is definitely what you want to see, move chats to Android. Transfer your chat history and media to your new Android phone. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. So you're gonna click start, and now it's doing the magic. Continue on your new phone. So we can put the iPhone next to it. You know, I don't like to send diagnostics. Basic device backup. Okay, I'm gonna accept, unlock method. I'm gonna click skip, continue setup, continue. Uh, probably going to skip all of this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to skip all of this stuff pretty much, guys. 
I can configure all of this later. No thanks. Now it says copying your data. Reconnect the cable. What do I mean reconnect the cable? The cable is connected. So let's do that. Let's reconnect the cable. Okay, so you need to, yeah, this is new guys. This never happens to me before. I had to unplug it and plug it again and looks like it's doing it now. So that's a little trick guys that is new to me. That's why I like to do these videos from time to time because things change, you know, you get updates on apps and everything and procedures. So I want to keep you informed. That's another reason guys to subscribe to my channel. All right, so it says copies done. You can disconnect the cable, okay. We disconnect the cable and I have the contacts, photos, videos, messages, calendar and notes. Five apps to be installed, they say. So I'm going to click done. How to get your cloud data. Photos and videos from iCloud, calendars, music. I'm going to click OK. It says turn off iMessage. To keep receiving text messages from iPhone users, you'll need to turn off iMessage on your old iPhone. The reason I'm not going to turn off iMessage now is because my SIM card is on the iPhone. And I'm going to get the WhatsApp verification code on the iPhone. And then I will move the SIM to the Android. And then I will turn off iMessage. Join the club. Navigation, gestures is good. Oxygen OS, get started. And this is the funny part, guys. So it looks like nothing happens. Looks like WhatsApp didn't move, right? But everything is happening on the background, I think. Yeah, right there, you see? Google Play Store, three minutes. It's completing the setup. And it says install zero of five applications. If you click there, it's gonna open the application that is installing. You know, you can see what is installing. And if you want to speed it up, you can just close the ones that you don't need now. I just need the messenger, WhatsApp messenger. And this is the other thing, guys, depending on how big your WhatsApp is, this might take a long time. You have to be patient, depending on your internet connection also, you know. Okay, so WhatsApp is done. Since WhatsApp is already downloaded, it should be here. Uh, and is right here. Let me see if it's also here. Yeah, it's also here. Click on it. Okay, English. Welcome to WhatsApp, allowed. Okay, here you need to put the same phone number that you have here. Oh, but I don't, okay, you can click cancel. And here you're gonna go to uh, this. And this is the number that you need to put. Number one for the US first. 786-645-2481. Make sure it's the right phone number. I'm gonna keep my phone here because I'm gonna get a text message from WhatsApp, okay? I'm gonna click next. So it's connecting. It wants you to make sure that is the phone number. Let's confirm that it's the same phone number. Okay. I'm gonna click next. And it's requesting a code. And look at this, guys. Enter this verification code on your new phone. 422-545. Okay. Your phone number is not longer registered with WhatsApp on this iPhone. Okay. And I'm going to click continue here. Allow WhatsApp to access your contacts. Allowed, allowed, allowed. And this is what we want to see. So this is what I'm trying to say, guys. Google, if you listen to me, please hack the emails of Hillary. No, listen, Google, if you're listening to me, please fix this. I want to see this screen before, you know, because I thought I lost the, the importing of the chat. This screen is coming too late, but okay, whatever it is, you know. Importing chat history. This is what you want to see, guys. Start. Now it's importing. Again, my chat is less than 100 megabytes. Import complete. Import complete. This is what you want to see, guys. Click next. Supposedly, you're going to see all the chats here. Now, back up your messages daily under this account. End-to-end -end encrypted backup. I usually turn it off. I'm going to include the videos and done. And look at these guys, all my chats, all the chats that I used to have on the iPhone are here. I successfully moved all my chat history from an iPhone to the Android. I'm going to click this chat that is the biggest one. I'm going to see all my pictures and videos. All the videos and all the pictures are here. Contacts, PDF files. Okay, PDF files. Everything is working. I recommend you to click on the links because sometimes they don't transfer, you know. Excel, Word document, zip files emojis emojis stickers audio messages everything actually transfer let me see another chat hold on how about this one all the chats got transferred once that everything is transferred the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to settings and i'm going to go to chats and i'm going to do a chat backup why i'm going to do a chat backup 
because by doing a chat backup, I'm going to have all my backup on Android, on Google Drive, not on iCloud anymore. I mean, on iCloud, I already have one, but now I'm going to have it on Google Drive. And once I have it on Google Drive, I can move to any Android device and I'm going to move with my chats, with all my backup. That's the beauty of having a backup on Google Drive. Uh, once we are waiting, guys, now we can go to our iPhone. I have the Mint Mobile SIM card here on the iPhone. I can go to settings, messages, and then I can turn iMessage off. I turn iMessage off so I can get the text messages on my Android. And now, guys, I'm going to do what everybody is asking me. When do I move the SIM card? You move the SIM card when you finish the whole process, right? When you finish the whole process, you don't need the iPhone anymore. You can give it away, okay? Give it away, sell it, whatever you want to do. And now you're going to put the SIM card on your new Android device. Whatever is a Samsung, whenever it's a Pixel 7, 7a, 6a, Samsung Galaxy Fold, Samsung Galaxy Flip, whenever it's a Motorola, whatever you want. Now you put the Mint Mobile SIM card or whatever SIM card you have, put it here, Mint Mobile on your OnePlus N30 and you have your WhatsApp. But you are ready, guys. Now you can use your Android. You don't need your iPhone no more, right? Very important, guys. If you like my video and you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also make sure you select all notifications. So every time I upload a new video, you're going to be the first one to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your support. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.